Greetings. Get comfortable, grab a bottle of water, and back to you, AK. There is no such thing as rape culture. Straight up. Most likely no monetization or limited ads. But there's just no way to do this video in PG. You know, I don't feel like being, yeah. Sorry, bro. I got a lot to say today. Listen. Every point I'm going to make today is based on facts and my opinion. I'm not here to disrespect nobody. But at the same time, I'm not going to tiptoe around because I'm sick of it, bro. Today, I'm going to just let them have it, bro. All right? Y'all know me. Uh, if you knew me from rap, you know, I used to go by uh, my second name was the v Warrior. My warrior spirit doesn't allow me to sit back and watch the world burn while I just sit there and do nothing, all right? Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Get comfortable, grab a bottle of water, and back to you, AK. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. I'm going to tell you what we're not going to do, or what I'm not going to do. Or we, what we're not going to do. We're together, right? You listening? We're together. Now, we're not going to let the world burn. I'm not saying go grab a rake and go hate mob. No. We're not going to put me in a, in a category. Because you probably if already put me in a red pill. Uh, I'm already demonetized. Fuck it. Let me talk my shit. I'm not no incel, bruh. Don't try to put me in with them red pill motherfuckers of atmosphere. I don't got nothing to do with them. But I'm going to speak on the facts. That is what it is, alright? I don't be on red pill, blue pill. I don't even take pills like that. Check it out, though. I'm a guy on the, on this internet that I love. And I, if you know me, you know how much I love this internet. Alright? Without the internet, I would be nothing. And I love women a lot. Alright? I got a mother. I love her very much, very dearly. I got two sisters. No brothers, biologically. None. All female. Alright? I take care of my females. You know? All of them. You can ask any female that know me. On this planet, how I treat females. Alright? But here's my thing. Rape culture doesn't exist. Me Too movement is a bunch of nonsense. I'm not going to sit here and let people run with certain narratives because... I'm not going to let people try to run... With narratives that I see <clears throat> are leading to a very dangerous place. When I say dangerous, I don't exaggerate. Now, God has uh, fortunately or unfortunately put some bitter, resent resentful <clears throat> females in my life. Alright? I don't know if they like me or not. But I know they are bitter and resentful because every time I check my social media, I see them got something to say about men. Now, I'm not saying men are angels, but you cannot blame men for every like shortcoming and failure in your life and take it on, oh man. I'm sick of it because here's the thing, all right? What you doing leads to a very... Hear me out. I started off by saying rape culture don't exist. It's true. It's not a lie. You want to cancel me? Cancel me. Because, listen, I've been to college before, right? And before college, I was in the streets, all right? What the hell is rape culture? 
Actually, I'm demonetized. What the fuck is a rave culture, bro? If I'm chilling with the boys, whether it's in the streets or in a college, wherever, frat, drunk, high, smack, coke, whatever. And I see a guy trying to rape somebody. What do you think I'm going to be like? Yeah, go Chad. Go Brad. Of course not. All right. If if some people are doing that, those are sickos. But as far as the culture, I don't know what you're talking about. Because growing up, if I see some shit like that, I'm calling it out. If not stepping in. They did a social experiment. I don't have the video, but you can look it up. Where it was two actors, a guy and a female. And they knew each other. I think it was in an elevator. And uh, a bunch of men walked in. Man, yes, the evil, devilish men you guys like to blame for all your problems and rape culture. Hear me out, though. The actor, male, goes, like, try to, like, touch on a female. Like, he's about to, you know, grow up or whatever. Every male that walked through that door st st uh, 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 stood up and stepped in and separated him and called him a weirdo. And six out of ten, like, uh, was going to fight him, punch him, whatever. Until they was like, oh, oh look, it's a camera. Now, if you keep up, hold on, let me get him some water. If you keep up with this internet enough to know who Andrew Tate is, you for sure know. Who Megan the Stallion is. Alright? First off, straight off the rip, I don't like her. I don't like her. I don't like the song WAP. Alright? I don't I don't enjoy it. Alright? It's a damn shame that every girl nowadays looks up to Megan the horsey. My opinion on her doesn't matter. Alright? It doesn't matter. The fact that she spread uh, negativity and pushed it a, 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 an agenda down everybody thought that's not that's not why I don't like her. Cause I get it, you know. I'm a rapper too. You gotta hustle. You gotta push whatever agenda. I know. I know what it is. It is what it is. All right. I get it. Sex sells. You don't got to explain it to me. But what you got to explain to me, though, is why you lied on Tory Lanez. I'm not going to say allegedly, not allegedly, because I'm not in court with y'all. I'm a guy <laughs> whose IQ is above 50, not 500, 50. All right? if, you, if you are a conscious being, I don't care if you're 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 uh, you're a goldfish, all right. If you're as smart as a goldfish, anyone could have seen right through it. And now, fast forward a couple years later, uh, it's coming out that she's a liar. She lied. Tori never shot her. He never said dance, bitch, dance. But Tori, shout out to Tori. You know, me and Tori, both Canadian Negroes, with a horrible headline. So, shout out my brother Tori. <clears throat> I don't listen to neither one, neither Tori nor Meg the Horse, but I got her. I got her respect. So anyway, zero respect though for Meg the Horsey. You lied on that man. You weaponized this whole. And see, this is exactly. What I, what I was coming to, this whole believe all women. Women don't need any more believing. 
what you're telling me is I gotta believe our women to appease this this whole hate mob, the same hate mob that bound my brother Tate, which I'm coming to on why this is all so dangerous. So I'm supposed to appease them and just believe any random person that comes with any random allegation, no proof. What, so I could be woke? Fuck all that. Since the beginning of time, justice has been one thing. This isn't about what you want to identify as a gender. This ain't that. All right, I support you. All right, Rainbow, I'm with you. You do what you want to do. But I'm talking about justice, all right? Especially in America, bro. Like, I cannot count how many times a female has lied on me or recognized her femininity. Like, we've seen it during, like, the early pandemic with the whole... Remember the rise of the Karen? Remember when the, when the, when the, when a certain type of females, white females, were, were, were given their name Karen? You remember that period in internet history? Good. Do you remember, if you've watched any of those Karens, I believe, like, at least half of them weaponized their femininity. What I mean by that is, say this woman, say you run into a racist Karen, all right? You dark-skinned black man. And she's like, get out of the park. Huh? Get out of the park for what? I'm walking my dog. Get out now. Karen, I'm not going nowhere. I'm just another black man. What's wrong with you? All right, it's 2022. Get out of here. I'm, you're not going to get out? No, I'm not getting out. This is the park. What does Karen do? Ah, help! Rape! Thank God for the cameras, because now they can expose the fact that, you know, people record for their own. Uh, uh, uh. You know? Because if, if we didn't have cameras... Imagine this in a world where believe all women. You feel me? Oh, rape! Black guy! Yeah! If we didn't have cameras, holla. A lot of these guys that were recording would have ended up like our Mr. Floyd or worse. Or worse. And nobody would have gave a single fuck. Keep it a hundred. So, you mean to tell me that in order to be a progressive man that I have to just believe any random woman? Especially after this, 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 this epidemic of women lying and weaponizing their femininity? Like it hasn't happened on me before. I'm sorry, bro. Justice is justice. I have a mother and two sisters. Let one of these creeps take their, their penis around. Try to... Whoo! I'm going to cut it off. Alright? Forget the justice system. You ever try to hurt one of my female? Holla! My wife, mother, family, sister, auntie. It's over for you. But as far as the justice system concerned, I'd like it to be fair as it is right now. Alright? I've left where I used to live. I used to live in Arabia where justice was not served. Everybody, everybody was not equal. And let me tell you, that alone made me travel across the globe. Where everybody's equal, innocent to proven guilty. You gotta understand. It starts with believe all women. Next thing you know, it goes beyond rape. Alright? And believe just everybody. 
Then it turns into Arabia. Where I can make some shit up. And put you in jail. Just cause we beefing. I've seen it happen. Seeing an innocent man like Tori and he's like, look at Tori. She ruined his career. When she said what she said, everybody, company, sponsorships, boom, dropped them, dropped Tori. Artists, they were scared to work with them, problematic. Two years later, we're finding out even the judge knows she's lying. Check academics. I don't know, Megan the Stallion from a hole in the wall. I don't know, Tory Lanez from a can of paint. Alright? Everything I'm saying to you, I'm not some paid activist. BLM, Black Lives Matter. The movement, amazing. The corporation or, or, or nonprofit, you tell me what have they done for you. Besides, collect a couple milli off the backs of horrible, horrific situations that black men go through every day. Still, it's not stopping. Have they solved any issues for you? You tell me. What has Black Lives Matter done? Look into it. Go see who funds Black Lives Matter. And things will start to... A picture will be painted, alright? There's a lot of paid activists coming up with, you know... Under the guise of uh, fighting for the people. But in reality, it's misleading you. It's like somebody stole your phone. And you're looking for your phone. Then he turns up, same guy who stole it. He's like... Oh, damn, you lost it. Let me help you find it. It's the same thing. Believe all women? Like I said, it comes up always in a form of uh, believe all women. And if they get that established in the law that, okay, just believe somebody. You can believe somebody because they're a woman with no evidence, no proof. All right? Then what's next? Believe uh, X. You fill in the blanks. Alright? You gotta look at the big picture. Stop being an NPC. The world is so divided. Never in my life have I heard the words fire before a, a political party. I don't even like politics. Far right, far left. What? Everything is so divided on purpose. They don't want you to unite. If you unite, all these problems will be over. So stop walking like a sleeping zombie. All right, wake up. This is not about believer women. Then again, let me holler at the Me Too movement because that's where is the Me Too movement with people like. Africa bound butter running around. Uh, uh, molesting uh, male kids, boys, little boys, should I say. Since the 80s and 90s to the present day. All right? Shout out Hassan Campbell. Because really, he gave me the idea to make this video. I'm like, yeah, where is the Me Too movement? All right? I want to talk about Harvey Weinstein and all these corporate people who uh, get a little bit ahead in exchange for some work position. Like you telling me like that's a secret or something. Like everybody knows that. You know, in order to get into that industry, you got to pull. It's not legal, of course, but that's just the name of the game. It's been known. All right. It's being portrayed in movies and, 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 and the hub. You gotta F the boss to get up. It's nothing new, bruh. But as far as women go, they don't need any more believing. 
If a woman comes up to me right now, I'm not going to be like, you lying, show me proof. I'm going to hear it out. All right? If Krishan Rock, y'all know her? She be with Blueface. If she comes up to me and tells me she's been raped just now, I am way less likely to believe her. I'm sorry, believe all women? Even if I did believe all women? You know, when you know certain type of women like that exist, I'm sorry, bro. The type of woman that lied on that mat to get on Karen's, I'm sorry, bro. The type of woman that lied on me previously, I don't want to talk about it. So, again, nonsense. Where's the Me Too movement with Africa Bound Bottom? He is the founder of hip-hop, if you didn't know. He invented hip-hop, but he also molested a thousand boys. Hassan Campbell, who was very brave, came out and exposed the man and exposed how he uh, got him when he was younger. Let me tell you something about why I keep saying Africa bound better. What makes this man a special kind of creep is, hear me out. And I'm going to talk to my black people. If you're not black, this will make sense too, but just listen. When you imagine a quote-unquote street nigga, a real nigga, a hitter, a stepper, you know? You're thinking of a macho, bravado, tough guy, right? Because, as black man, even if we're not street, like myself, we're kind of expected to perform or, or live up to this expectation of, you know, tough guy, da-da-da. Aside from being a man, a black man in a black culture and how it views homosexuality, I'm coming to it. Hear me out. Africa Bambara was gay behind closed doors. I have no issues with him being gay. Here's where my issue starts, though. He's abusing younger guys. Taking advantage of the crack era. Poverty. You know, he's a rich dude, made it with music. He just keep invented hip hop, right? When you listen to his victims, it's not the average victims. I can't count how many times I've seen, and no disrespect. How many times I've seen a white woman get on TV, on a, social media, or whatever? Oh, I've been uh, raped. Black woman. Oh, I've been raped. All type of women. But nobody takes it serious. All right? When a man gets raped. I'm sorry. Since a man is too... All right, men don't get raped, right? Okay. What about little boys? You want to know something crazy? Most of them never going to tell you. You might know a man that been raped as a child, but he will never tell you that. Because you're a man. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, I knew some real quote-unquote steppers, killers, hitters, whatever you want to call it. Scary individuals. And you guys don't know him. This is back home, so I can. I'm not gonna tell you names, obviously. But really, the fact that they were, which they'll never say, of course. I knew because I knew we grew up together. I seen them, and it is what it is, you know. But the fact that they got abused as a young youngin. And, you know, I guess they didn't, I mean, 
of course, nine times out of ten, yeah, like no, I'm just gonna say that, like that, that's absurd. The fact that they did, especially when they're a man, you know, especially in an environment like back home, you know, which is really international. All men really think the same, bro. They they're not gonna come out and tell you, hey, bro, Africa bound by the put his uh in my eye, uh, all right, because you're a man. What what did the man that actually came out respect the Hassan? I got pissed off when I seen how people reacted. This is a hard topic, especially for a certified street OG. Like, look at his victims, bruh. Look it up. They're respected people in the streets. As far as tough guys go, this is the five star generals you're talking about. Like, And Hassan said something. It's a lot of people he knew serving life in jail right now. Because they got that. But they'll never admit to it, of course. There's a lot of interviews going around with women saying that would never date a guy or marry a guy who experienced with uh, and homosexual, gay, whatever. Even Hassan, you know, he said... His wife looked at him different coming out and breaking out the store. So think about this. A woman's tear. Listen, I'm not excusing any victim or dismissing their feelings. But I'm saying, women got enough believing. They don't need any more believing. They don't need it. You know who needs it? Those men being abused by the church, by the OGs. You guys keep wanting to join gangs, right? You want to be tough guys, join gangs. Because you see your rappers. Let me tell you something. I was, I was going to mention Birdman. But you know what? It is what it is. We all seen Birdman and Wayne. Wayne is not his biological son. I don't know if he's adopted or what the situation may be. I don't know what's going on there. But let me tell you something. Forget Birdman. A lot of y'all, oh, on King David, on GDN, or what's, what's his name? Larry Hoover, free Larry Hoover. And y'all claiming these gangs and these gang leaders. Who you have never met. You don't know the, these people character. Africa Bambada is one of them. He ran the Zulu Nation for years. Strong. As far as I know, still strong. So, you guys keep wanting to get down with these gangs. Let me tell you, it's not all glitter glamour. Alright? You're going to end up... What you already know is, yes, you're going to risk... Ending up in jail or dead Correct But what you don't know Is you might be It's a lot more to it than that You might be Getting uh, 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 Your booty hole stressed out I'm keeping it a hundred bruh There's a lot to this that y'all don't know There's a lot to jail you don't know about There's people inside serving life You come on your little six month bid little gun case or whatever y'all 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 catch somebody's in there doing life he's never gonna see a female again he he might not be gay he just adapted to his environment and you looking a little sweet there's a lot to the shit that y'all don't know about and sad reality is <clears throat> the male victims not only that does people dismiss their 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 their, their cries and pains they dismiss it. People tell Hassan, you was his boyfriend. Huh? We're talking about a 12-year-old here. They keep trying to add numbers to his age to make it seem like, and you know, KRS-One, who's a respected individual in hip-hop, he defends uh, Africa Bambada. It's, it's, it's messed up, but at the same time, He's in denial. He don't want to believe that. 
the guy who founded the hip hop that he loves very much is that. But the victims speak. So anonymously, you can look up the victims, Ron Savage, or uh, I forget his name, Africa Bound Batter. I don't see any Me Too movement around. Africa Bound Batter, here it is. And I'm going to leave you on this note because I'm, I'm honestly tired. Hassan said that he, he'd been, I'm going to say hit, okay? He got hit by, by uh, or he got got by uh, Africa Bound Batter more than once as a young boy. People ask, why haven't you left? Now, it was times where his mother had ran away or abandoned them and left Hassan to take care of his brothers and sisters. Now, how does a kid supposed to put food on the table? He wasn't selling his booty. Nah, because people like to say he's tricking. But you know who put food on that table? Africa Bound Bottom. He took advantage of these people and had his way around. And Hassan wasn't the only one. Hassan was the one to, 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 to get the ball rolling. On, on what happened on the real truth behind Africa Bound Battle. Then again, this this expose is not new. If this is your first time hearing about it, you're late. You're late. But let Harvey Weinstein try to try to seduce a girl to his hotel. On some player shit. Because that didn't look creepy to me. You showed up to the hotel. Why would you show up to an office and show up, at, you know, he's grabbing you, grabbing your thighs, grabbing your, fondling your breast to seize, and he's telling you, let's go to a hotel. What do you think you're going to happen in that hotel? Bible study? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I refuse to believe our woman. I got a mother, an auntie I love, two baby sisters. They're not old enough to, uh, I think one of them hit 18, I think. All of these females in my life my family will come and tell you, believe all women is, is nonsense. And they're not from a Western country. That says a lot, don't it? The women are not the ones who need believing and taking care of more than they are, already are. I can't count on one hand how many uh, 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 government funded institutions shelters you know the association for women that are abused da 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 those exist but they don't exist for men all men get is a fuck you get over it they told Hassan keep it hip hop this is not we're not talking about Tinder matches here. We're talking about traumatic events. The killers I knew in my day, if you ask me, these traumatic events, like that one, manifested itself in ugly ways because it wasn't dealt with the right way. Men are not being heard. They deplatform Andrew Tate over a lie. A lie, a fabrication. They said he beat a woman on camera countless times. <laughs> they cut out the video. They showed the first part. They didn't show the part where it's clearly consensual. They fabricated a bunch of more that were proven wrong. Human trafficker. It was proven what the ha what happened. All right. Authorities, even including the U.S have confirmed his innocence. 
So, they took this man off for a lie. He represented, he was entertaining. And a little bit explosive, but he represented a lot of unheard men. Uh, I'm not one of those unheard men because I, I'm the type of dude I'll make it clear. In my personal day-to-day -day life. Alright? But... A lot of men issues are not being dealt with. That's why it's a lot of quote unquote killers running around. Tough guys. Everybody wanna be tough. Man, that's trauma, man. You niggas need a hug, bro. You niggas need a hug, bro. That's the facade, this whole I'm extra tough guy. I don't smile. I I pull up on the ops. So all this, bruh, this is all a coping mechanism, a protection. It's okay. I do too. I need a hug too. A lot of them, a lot of them turn to uh, uh, medication and drugs. Makes a lot of sense, don't it? You go online, they keep telling them you're invisible. You're nobody, man. Women don't even see you. Don't let don't let these people play with your head, bro. Anybody can get it, all right? Don't let this, this pandemic and you staying in the house mess with your perception. The internet is not the real world. Anybody can go out there and find a lover. No matter how ugly, broke, huh? Half of the girls on my phone are broke dudes. And they enjoy it, you know? They justify. Not every woman wants a millionaire. That's lies. That's Miami girls or wherever. Or even them, they end up settling down and so you know you know, don't 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 yeah. It's a lot of nonsense going around. I just wanted to address it. I don't want to hear a damn thing about a Me Too movement until they address Africa Bambada because who really needs to speak out on Me Too is, is a lot of boys. Estimated a thousand boys. Some of them are grown men now. Some of them are afraid to come out and talk. Not only are they fearing that for their own reputation, they got wives and kids because they're men can't say, dude, did you like that? You got a wife and kids. You see what I'm saying? These people need need love too, and support. Maybe not the grown men, but already grown up. They need therapy and and love and community support and people to say, you know what? You're a brave dude. Not support the pedophile against the victim. Nah, bro. This is this is sad to see in a in a black community. You need to fix up. Yeah. It's a lot of boys going through dealing with a creep in the hood right now. But you will never hear about it. Either because they're in a situation where they need to let it happen. Financial, wherever it may be. Sometimes it could be a family member. But unlike the girl, they're not going to say, oh, that happened to me. No. They're going to keep it pushing and act tougher and tougher to make up for it. Listen, we're all human. If you, are, if you went through that, I want you to know you are loved and you're brave. And that don't take away from your masculinity or nothing. All right? Don't tell me about a Me Too until you take care of them kids, especially in the hood. The woman already can go and file, and it already looks crazy, a woman again. Ah. Before I believe all women, in a world where it wasn't so much soy boys, I don't believe in alpha and beta and all this nonsense. From Arabia, bro. If a woman come and say that, I'm turning up. I will believe her.
But if things start not to add up, I got to make a conscious decision to be just and fair. Because no, an innocent being in, being locked up while you're innocent, I'm done talking. All right? I'm going to save it for the next video because I wanted to dive in on certain things that I mentioned even deeper. That being said, man. All right? Hit the th uh, thanks button any amount. I'll shout you out again. Smash the like button. Sorry, hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button. All right, get in the comment box. Comment for the algorithm. I'll catch you in the next one. This one is demonetized. Any support is welcome. All right. All right. Peace out.